This is the entrance to my exhibit. It's a tribute to Hollywood, the perfect fit with the flower show. These costumes are just like flowers to me. And when I steam them, I can smell the perfume of the stars. It's too much to really imagine, so intimate. I love intimate. Come with me and we'll show you everything you might like to see. This way, please. And here you are in the costume room, a magnificent exhibition hall. There's so many things to see here. There I am when I was on television. That's the Gene London. There's so many thousands of people come to see here. They still love my show, even though I've been off the air for 50 years. And take a look. Here's Marilyn Monroe. It's a figure. Anyway, the dress is from Gentlemen Prefer Blondes. Look at it. Slit right up to the private part slit down to her belly button. It's just the magic of the sex appeal of the movies. There's only one star like Marilyn Monroe, and we'll see many of her costumes here. This is Cinderella. She's wearing her gown to go to the ball at the castle. The one who wore this gown was Leslie Caron. Remember her in American in Paris? This gown is absolutely the perfect dress for the flower show, for if you look closely, it's ornamented with flowers. And if you look even more closely, you'll see that all of her tears have been changed by her fairy godmother to be hanging crystals on her dress. I love that. But come on, there's more to see. This is a gown created by Adrienne for Hedy Lamar. Isn't it beautiful? Look at her feather, feather cape. It's so, I was so lucky to find a picture of her wearing this dress with the feather cape. Uh, she was one of the tallest women on a lot. Most of the people were short. As long as they had big, beautiful heads, it didn't matter. Uh, the designers knew how to make them all look gorgeous. But she came to the movies being one of the most beautiful women of the world. I guess you'll never forget the beautiful face of Hedy Lamarr.